Just because WWE goes off the air doesn't mean that the cameras stop rolling or that the action ends in the ring. Through the years, fans have stayed in arenas just a little longer and were treated to several memorable on-air moments. This includes superstar confrontations, surprising elements, and moments that were edited out for broadcast. 10 off-air moments that WWE doesn't want you to see. Hogan takes a stunner. One of the fantasy matches that never ever got a chance to happen was Hulk Hogan versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. For fans in attendance at the 2002 WWE Monday Night Raw, they got a special treat and the first glimpse at this dream match. After Raw went off the air, Austin rushed to the ring. He delivered a Stone Cold Stunner in what could be their only in-ring encounter ever. The Undertaker gets burned. The Undertaker is not only known for his great matches, but his long and thematic ring entrances. At the 2010 Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, things went a little haywire as a set of flame effects actually lit The Undertaker on fire for real. Breaking character, Taker quickly got the flames out and was then doused with bottles of cold water to help with the various burns he suffered. CM Punk's underwear spin a -roo. Booker T has mastered the spin a -roo. but other WWE superstars, ugh, not so much. During a post-draw in-ring segment, Booker T hosted a special spin a -roo contest. Several wrestlers came out to try their hand at the move, but CM Punk really took the cake. Punk came out in his underwear and attempted a pretty poor spin a -roo move. The dance is hilarious to watch and really had the live crowd going when it occurred. John Cena and Batista join DX. There's nothing quite like a D-Generation X celebration. Crowd chants, fireworks, and their signature theme song all combine to create classic WWE moments. John Cena and Batista decided to get in on the bit after an episode of Raw went off the air. Standing side by side with DX, Cena and Batista delivered their best crotch chops to the cheering crowd. The amusing moment featured four of the greatest in-ring stars at the time. The world's most struggling man. It's a good thing this next moment didn't take place live on Raw. Billed as the world's strongest man, Mark Henry showcased a weakness when he tried to invade Batista's steel cage match on SmackDown. Henry spent several minutes trying to rip the door off the steel cage. He finally got it loose, and the moment was edited down to make it look like the feat was completed instantaneously, instead of taking as long as it did. Brock kisses Kurt. It's extremely rare to see the fun and softer side of Brock Lesnar. Fans got a rare peek at this back during his lengthy feud with Kurt Angle. During a taping of SmackDown, Angle and Lesnar were supposed to have a serious face-off. Brock changed things dramatically though when he grabbed Angle's face and planted a huge kiss on him. Not only was the crowd shocked, but so was Kurt Angle. The Rock's practice match. The Rock and Triple H had the pressure to put on a 60-minute Iron Man match during the 2000 Judgment Day pay-per-view. To make sure that the match went as smooth as possible, the two competitors actually rehearsed the whole thing. Footage was actually released of the practice match and can be shown side by side with the actual match that took place. Talk about the dedication and hard work. Triple H's birthday celebration. Birthday celebrations are kind of a tradition in WWE. It's exciting to watch as the whole roster enters the ring and celebrates. During Triple H's birthday celebration on Raw, things got a little crazy. Vince and Triple H got into a cake fight that left both men scrambling on the mat in piles of cake batter and frosting. The celebration continued as Randy Orton enters the fray and smashes another cake on Triple H. Hulk Hogan's flubbed lines. Hulk Hogan has delivered a lot of promos over the years, so it's no surprise that he'll flub a line or two here and there. Luckily, these flubbed lines usually took place on a taped episode of SmackDown rather than live. Hogan was passionately arguing with Vince McMahon when he screwed up several lines and at one point said that he was right gay for the job. He stammered on and threw in a few swears to finally end the painful segment. 
a cement rehearsal. One of the more shocking moments in The Undertaker's career was when The Undertaker turned on Paul Bearer and buried him alive in a cement crypt. On screen, the moment looked like it was spur of the moment and went smoothly. A few years after it occurred, footage actually leaked of The Undertaker rehearsing this moment. It's pretty crazy to see some of the production techniques that went into creating this moment. Well, there you have it. Some of those were just plain crazy. What were some of your favorites? Do you think that WWE should release more of these moments? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to The Sportster on YouTube.